Hey y'all, what's good beautiful people? It's your girl Tay and I'm here yet again with another update video. So definitely make sure you guys smash that like button, comment down below, subscribe, plus push your post notification bell button so that way anytime I upload a video, you will be notified. All right, you guys, happy Friday. I'm actually recording this on Friday. I am on my lunch break from work. I totally been to get up this morning before work and get this video recorded, but your girl kind of put in some work yesterday with her workout and I was exhausted. Not to mention I have a restless five-year-old that was bouncing around in my room this morning waking me up. So needless to say, we are doing this now, but let's get into the news. So the first thing we're going to talk about, y'all know Prime Day is coming up. And if you are not signed up with Amazon Prime, just know that you do get a discount if you are a CalWorks or CalFresh uh, recipient. If you're receiving food stamps, you have an uh, electronic benefits transfer card, also known as EBT, then you do get a discount. I believe the monthly price now is around 11 I'll say between 10 and $12, but if you have the EBT card, you get that cut in half at, I believe, $6.99. So if you're not already signed up with Amazon Prime, don't hesitate. I will have a link down below in the description box. But on that note, we have Amazon Prime a day of 2023. Won't be here until July the 11th through the 12th but one of the best amazon deals of the year is happening right now right now you can score 15 dollars in amazon credits uh, with no purchase required and that's not all you can score another 12 dollars credit when you reload an amazon gift card with a hundred dollars or more then you can swing back to amazon to claim another five dollars in free money from july the 3rd through the 10th so they're basically going to give you a total of 32 dollars in free money which i know for a lot of people that ain't much but if you are a amazon fanatic like me you can do something you can you, you can make some things happen with 32 dollars honey so um here's what you need to know to get all the free money that amazon has to offer for you this year all right hold on hold on da, 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 da. let's get to how we're gonna get it okay so all you have to do is download the Amazon Photos app and upload your first photo, okay? Amazon will give you a $15 credit in your account to spend on Prime Day or whenever you choose to spend it, all right? Um, the deal runs now through July the, the 11th. The deal starts now. Um, actually, it's been started for a few days now, but it's going to run all the way up until July the 7th at 11.59 p.m., Okay. Once you've downloaded the Amazon photos and scored your $15 Amazon credit, why not earn yet another $12? Reload any Amazon gift card with $100 or more in a single transaction and you'll get another $12 to the card for free. Okay. And for the last and final way, from the 3rd of July to the 10th of July, first time gift card customers can use a $5 promotional credit when they spend $50 or more on gift cards in a single order. Okay, the credit will appear in your account two days after your purchase. It says, note that you'll need to redeem your credit by August 25th of this year at 11.59 p.m. by that time, by 11.59 p.m. on August 25th. Okay, so hopefully... You guys, y'all let me know if you check in. If you, you know, I'm not really a gift card purchaser. If I'm being 100% honest, I don't really buy gift cards like that. Um, I am, I like to say I'm kind of a, I don't even know how I want to phrase that. I just don't really do gift cards. I believe in connections and having connections with people. So I generally tend to anticipate people's needs or get them what I think they need um, or what they want the most, okay, if it's reasonable. But y'all let me know if this is something that you're interested in. Nonetheless, I definitely, you know, $32 is $32. And with nowadays, the way the economic is, the economic, the economy is going on, the inflation, the high cost and everything else that is happening, an extra $32, uh, even if it's a once around, if you are already buying Amazon gift cards, it's still definitely better than nothing. Okay, moving on from that. So I thought this was interesting. Now I haven't read this myself, so we, we're going to be surprised together. Tax writers in the House and the Senate are gearing up for negotiations over tax reform as congressional lawmakers introduce their first proposals for a package that will garner widespread support for both sides of the aisle. I sound like a newscaster. I swear I do. Senate Democrats have hedged their bids on making some form of the C-19 pandemic era child tax credits 
permanent while House Republicans are proposing comprehensive legislation that includes an estimated $240 billion in tax cuts for big and small businesses and individual Americans. For six months during the pandemic, the federal government gave parents up to $300 a month per child as a part of President Joe Biden's sweeping American Rescue Plan Act. Since the tax benefit lapsed in 2021, Democrats have made multiple attempts to revive the payment, citing data that shows the money reached more than 36 million U.S. households and was estimated to cut child poverty by as much as 30 percent knowing that the child tax credit is child tax credit is a top issue for democrats gop representative don bacon of nebraska told punchbowl news this may be a bargaining chip that we can use in reaching a deal in tax reform okay so they're basically trying to say you get what you want we get what we want the child tax credit, as we saw for those six months, was the most significant domestic policy achievement with respect to poverty that we've had in generations. And we can reenact it. It would be, again, uh, Democratic Senator Michael Bennett of Colorado told the New Republic last week. Okay, so, like I said, they're basically saying if we give the Democrats or we negotiate giving them what they want, maybe they'll give us what we want, okay? Growing interest in re-implementing some form of child tax credit could further incentivize congressional Republicans to use the policy as a way to negotiate with Democrats. A number of states, including California, Colorado, Maryland, Massachusetts, Minnesota, New Jersey, New Mexico, New York, and Vermont, have passed their own programs offering similar credits for families. Some congressional Republicans are ready, beginning to, uh, no, ready, are already I'm sorry, beginning to warm to the idea of cutting a tax deal with family with the family benefits. Senator J.D. Vance of Ohio told Punchbowl that it's one of the few issues of tax policy where you have some bipartisan agreement. And Senator Todd Young of Indiana said there would be some GOP interest in a child tax credit if it's properly constructed and properly sized in a tax package okay so they're definitely working on it how the details of that is going to come about if it's going to be around the same amount more or less or if it's going to be more if it's going to be I, I should think that considering the fact the cost of everything has gone up that it should definitely be more you know what i'm trying to say i i i, I think that 300 dollars per kid mm, you know what i'm saying it was good then but i think moving forward because prices have increased i think that the overall and i have to be very very clear I am not a tax consultant. I'm not a CPA. I am not in no way, shape, or form um, authorized. That is not my area of expertise to talk to you guys about tax credits and things of that nature. But I do believe as a consumer, the last time I checked, that the tax credits went back to what they were prior to um, the uh, pandemic levels okay so i'm thinking that if they are going to be implementing this just in my humble opinion i feel like they should increase those tax credits and then also increase those monthly payments if that's what they're gearing for and so instead of giving 300 dollars for children um age six and below maybe make that 400 dollars or 350 you know what i'm trying to say but i guess we'll just have to wait and see and then last but certainly not least we have orange county clinic to offer free surgeries First center in the nation to offer service at no cost. I definitely thought this was great. I mean, surgery is expensive. Healthcare is expensive just in general. Dental care is expensive just in general. So to have any type of assistance in covering those sometimes uncontrollable and uh, um, the cost that you're not prepared for i think this is good now free surgeries are on the way to orange county on a wednesday so this was literally a couple of days ago instead of a ground breaking it was a wall breaking ceremony with sledgehammers tearing down a wall with text that read barriers to health care the non-profit lestinic uh, free clinic in the city of orange will be renovating a space for free surgery center today has been an amazing day first start of a free surgery something that has not occurred in the United States to this day. This is amazing to have the opportunity to be able to finish a project that helps people get to the end of a disease, said Edward Gerber, executive director of this free clinic, okay? The free clinic has been around since 1979. It offers free primary care services, dental and vision care, and more. So y'all may wanna look that up, okay? I'm gonna put the name of this clinic on this, you know, better yet, I'm gonna put the, 
I'm going to copy and paste this article, all of the articles. I'm just going to copy and paste them in the description box. So check that out. Take a look at the name of this clinic. If you are living anywhere near Orange County, you may want to check that out because like I said, healthcare and dental care is expensive. So to be able to get some services for free, I think it's excellent. Um, for more than five years, it has offered free surgeries, but they have been talking or taking place at a hospital in LA County. Now with its own surgical center in Orange, the organization will be able to help more patients who need free surgeries, okay? This is great for all those who are, uh, this is coming from a consumer who've experienced this. She says this is great, or he says this is great for all those who are poor like me who need help uh, from these free clinics, okay? Without the help, poor people wouldn't be able to live. Hold on, we got a flying something. Hopefully it moves on because I'm going to be upset. I think it's an airplane. Go on. Go on by. Okay, the 4,000 square foot facility was made possible thanks to a $3 million donation from the Thompson Family Foundation. Organizers said the surgical center would be able to do about 70 vital surgical procedures accessible to Californians regardless of residency, documentation, or status. Surgeons will be volunteering their time to offer this service, okay? Again, I think this is great news. I think that if you are in that area or even if you're not, because it doesn't have anything to do with residents, as I just clearly uh, read to you guys, if you are in need, the grand opening for the surgery center is scheduled to open for next spring. So that is definitely something to look forward to. And on that note, I'm going to end this video there. What I am going to do, as always, is place a video showing you guys all the names of the states that have currently been approved for pandemic EBT for both the summertime as well as pandemic. EBT for the school year 2022-23 and on that I did get a chance to call and see if I can talk to the PEBT hotline for the state of California okay I highly recommend you guys doing this as well if you are confused you need a little bit more clarity about what's going on there's usually a number on the back of the card that was distributed and they should be able to if they can't give you any information they should be able to point you in the right direction if you have any additional information about your state in particular please definitely drop that down below in the comments section you guys know what I always say sharing is caring and someone that also lives in your state may need that information and may not have the means to be able to get it okay but specifically for California when I called in even though the website and when I say website I mean the United States Department of Agriculture clearly states that benefits should start to go out staggered in the month of June and then continue in July um, when I called in the PBT hotline told me that they have no additional information that California is still currently working on a plan as to how they're going to distribute the benefits and that the only thing that they know is that they plan to have the benefits fully distributed to all people or all children who are eligible by September 30th. So that means that basically you could be receiving new cards or new benefits on your cards anytime from now until September. We don't have a definite date, a definite month or none of that. We just know that they have up until September 30th. Hopefully they're working faster, okay, rather than the pace that they've been working to get those benefits distributed out to all of the families, of course, that needs it. But on that note, you guys, as always, I hope this information has been in some way helpful or useful to you guys in the least little bit. Do me a favor if you haven't already. Don't forget to smash that like button because it really does help to let you two know that you like what I'm doing despite the fact that I'm going to say this again. It's going to be my last time that I've been a bit inconsistent that you like what I'm doing and you want me to stick around, okay? Don't forget to check out the description box for the links to those articles just in case you guys are interested you want to go over them again they will be down below and like i mentioned earlier if you are not already signed up for amazon prime don't hesitate to check out the description box as there is a link there where you can sign up for amazon prime for free 30 days on me okay i'm going to ask you guys to drop some pink hearts down below i don't know why but i've really been feeling pink as of lately i think it's just really soft and feminine it brings a certain vibe and a certain energy that i have really been reconnecting to um just personally if you want to hear more about that if you're not already subscribed to my uh beauty and lifestyle channel the link for that will also be down below in the description box again let's drop some pink hearts or just simply say hey tay in the comment section i'll definitely get back with you and on that note i am going to say remember to live love elevate and i will definitely see you guys in the next video peace y'all can you help me